Hello and welcome back to another episode of Love Local Business, sponsored by Calcaney Real Estate and myself, your Central Connecticut-based real estate agent, Kimberly Goffrin. Today, our guest is Karen St. Clair from Barker Animation Art Galleries here in Cheshire, Connecticut. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for of coming. Of so no, excited. <laughs> Happy to be here. So Karen, as a collection that's gathered to celebrate childhood through the ages, spanning back as far as 1873, mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about how this museum was started and what makes it so special? Well, just look around. That's what <laughs> makes it so special. It started with the Barkers, Herb and Gloria Barker. They first started, um, they had three different businesses. One was Barker Specialty, which are promotional products. Second business was the art gallery, mm -hmm. um, with the first thing that they bought was a Mickey Mouse animation cell. And then they also collected toys and that's where we are here today. Mm -hmm. um, just throughout the years, they started a collection. They would go to tag sales with their kids and buy stuff. Um, so they knew what this was going to mean eventually for future generations. Right. And, and it does. It just it brings back either memories or it shows kids what their parents like played with and stuff like that. So That's it's special awesome. to everyone. Yeah, I know. We were walking around earlier and I'm like, oh, I remember that, yeah. you know? So I can only imagine. Uh, so that's great. I've seen everything here, as you said, from tin toys to early animation pieces, mm -hmm. Disney collectibles, and so much more. Can you expand a little bit on what people might see when they come to visit? Um, they'll see everything from, like you said, the tin toys, Disney. We have a lot of Popeye, because Mr. B, <laughs> as we call him, uh, was born the same week that Popeye oh. was born. So we do have a lot of that. We have everything from um, 1873 up to present day. So kids will see Harry Potter, but yet they'll see um, Mickey Mouse and his when he was Mortimer Mouse. Mm -hmm. uh, so they'll see a lot. They'll see Barbie. They'll see a little bit of Wizard of Oz mm -hmm. um, and all things in between. That's awesome. So just how toys have changed throughout the the century. Um, they'll just they'll see different aspects of everyday life. So that was that's so cool. I'm sure they would learn something by yeah. coming as well. So um, very cool. So are all of these toys American-based items, or do you have items from all over the world? No, we actually have items all over the world. We actually have a Snoopy um, collection downstairs from Japan of, wow. um, the, of the McDonald toys. Oh, that's and so And he cool. donated his whole collection. Holy but cow. we get things all over. Um, it's amazing. It's just amazing to see the production that was back in the day mm -hmm. um, and from different countries as well. Yeah, oh my gosh, I can only imagine. And I know in Japan, some of those toys go wild. Yes, like, like exactly. Especially like Hello exactly. Kitty and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> awesome. So now you offer admission for adults, mm -hmm. um, families, and groups, correct? Correct. So I saw on your website that you are now um, open for limited capacity to correct. get people back in here. Exactly. So that's great. Exactly. It must be a great feeling. It's such a great feeling. I mean, we did open... A little bit towards the post pandemic in late 2000 but you know people were a little worried coming mm -hmm. back but now we you can come back mm -hmm. and um, make a reservation or if you just want to stop by if you're like a family of four or five just stop on by cool well it sounds good to me I mean you guys have a ton of space here it's mm -hmm. it's a great place to come you you'll be looking around at every <laughs> single angle I mean you see a yes. little bit of it back here um, but definitely give it a shot if you guys are interested. So I love it. I'm sure that we have some folks out there watching today who'd be interested in learning how to book their visit. What's the easiest way for them to contact you? So the best way for people to contact us, they can call us at our phone number, or they could also contact us at barkeranimation.com. But another great aspect is we take donations. So mm -hmm. people are cleaning out attics and garages, basements. Please give us your toys. We will gladly take them because it keeps the dream alive. Yes, definitely. And that's really good to know for a lot of people who are cleaning yeah. out their house right now. Um, so, you know, bring on your toys and, and, and contribute to this amazing collection. All right. So awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a thank part of this Business so Spotlight much. series. I really do appreciate thank it. Thank you. Of course. So you can find more information, as she said, about Barker Animation Art Galleries or Art, art Galleries and Collectibles at BarkerMuseum.com. Check out their Facebook or their Instagram pages, or just give the museum a call at 203-272-2357. The team here would be more than happy to show off this amazing collection that has taken years and years to get to, get to this point. Mm -hmm. um, and for my realtor friends out there, a great place to recommend to your clients who are looking for something fun and interesting to do, whether you're a local person to this town or new to the area. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up. Thank you. Thanks for watching today. Mm -hmm. And remember, when you support local, you're supporting more than just your friend or your neighbor. You're supporting your community. 
So I hope something good happens for you today and we'll see you next time.